All right, so this Knife Thoughts video, as you can probably tell, is going to be another unboxing of a knife from Jack Wolf Knives. And the knife that I am going to use to open the package might tell you uh, what the knife in the package is. And this is one that I'm really excited about. Uh, this isn't how I normally do my unboxings. I've been doing them with me in front of the camera for a while. Uh, I think that that's, you know, fun. You can see my genuine reaction, but the truth is uh, this package has been in my mailbox for a few days, went on a trip and um, just got back from it and just can't wait to open it. I got home, it was raining and then now it's dark. So I've decided to just go ahead and do an old fashioned unboxing where I am behind the camera. But another unusual thing here, got a bunch of GEC knives underneath so you can enjoy checking those out uh, while I open this knife. But I will get to opening this and I am opening it with my first run laid back jack from Jack Wolf Knives. So I will slice this here and as you can see this first run laid back jack slices super well and that's what's in this package is the re-release of the laid back jack if i can open it the correct way there we go and as usual very nice box with some embossing um it's got the write-up now one thing i saw uh donnie who works with ben uh, at jack wolf knives say that there is a difference in the packaging and I didn't actually see what it was that he was indicating. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, see what it is. Looks like the same write-up on the back as usual. Uh, you can see here that this is the laid back jack in titanium jigged. And so there's a bunch of new stuff with this run, this re-release of the laid back jack. The new handle materials, new blade finishes, and some little design differences too. But the outside package looks pretty much the same. So I always kind of struggle getting this part open, but that went all right. And I'll open this up. So nothing else inside the package, just the art. And so this is different art than the original laid back jack. I wish I could show it. I, have it uh, up on my um, gun safe, uh, some all the different uh, stickers from the, the art here of the Jack Wolf knives. But this is definitely a different art and a little bit of a different look for uh, Jack himself. Um, but very cool art, definitely laid back, relaxing in his hammock. You can see crab and a seashell there, um, the palm tree, very kind of classic writing, super cool, nice sunset there. Um, very fitting art. And then here is the pog. And now typically this, uh, the pog shows the whole art. Um, so I don't know if that's the difference where the pog is just kind of showing a close up on Jack himself. Uh, typically it does show the whole art, I believe. Um, but again, I don't have those right in front of me here to compare. Inside, got the slip. These come with a really nice leather slip. Um, these Jack Wolf Knives slips, along with the slips from uh, Justin Lynch, which I actually do have one of these in front of me. Um, so these are from the Barlow Bearcat Club which I'll talk about more in my full review on this knife. So make sure you are subscribed to, the, to my channel. Click the bell and select all because I will be doing a full review of this re-release of the laid back jack. Talking more about the pattern and some of the changes from the first run, but uh, the Jack Wolf knife slips along with some work from uh, Justin Lynch of Lynch Leather has really converted me to using slips. So I think on a high-end knife like these Jack Wolf knives, you know, you're spending money on the knife. 
Uh, it's nice to get a slip that you can carry the knife and, and enjoy it because I really do think that you enjoy a knife more when you carry it, but you can carry it without worrying too much about scratching it up against, um, I see the difference here, scratching it up against uh, stuff in your pocket, coins and everything. So there's two stickers in here. That is unusual. And uh, I am kind of guessing that the reason for the two stickers is because I'm sure there are people who would like to put one on something and keep one. I know I have, you know, I've put my stickers up on things. I don't have any of my stickers from Jack Wolf Knives saved, but um, I would like to have them as kind of a collection. The collection exists, again, on my <laughs> gun save, but uh, it is nice to have too. So that's really cool because <laughs> There was a little bit of an incident recently where someone, I guess, um, got a bunch of stickers and then sold them on eBay of Jack Wolf Knives stickers. Pretty crazy. Uh, you know, the lengths people go to to make not that much money, just like a little bit, um, you know, ruining a relationship and everything to lie about why you wanted the stickers. But anyway, um, really cool sticker. So you've got kind of like a uh, traditional art look to jack there it says laid back and uh cool to have the two stickers i think that's a good good thing there a little bit of a different color unless it's just my lighting which my lighting is not great still working on uh my filming setup at my uh new house here but a little bit of a different a little bit less neon green i think a little bit lighter green um microfiber cloth which is always a nice touch and oh lose that cap so I'm gonna move a little bit off of the GEC display case here and here it is so this is super cool looking um, again I hate that I don't have a great lighting setup or really even a good lighting setup figured out yet because I really want you to see how cool this looks in person. And wow, it is a really interesting and cool look. The finish on this titanium is really nice. Um, such a strong bead or some kind of blast. Uh, just looks really, really dark and good. And the jigging is like pretty random looking. I don't know if it's actually, you know, different patterns on each knife, but it's not a super, you know, clear pattern, which I love on jigging. You know, as usual, incredible fit, it looks like here on the back spring. No gaps. Um, have the three threads that Ben's kind of making his signature. Uh, perfect centering. And again, I am going to do a full review. So I'm not going to go into super detail on this knife here. But this does have a hand satin blade. So that's really cool looking. And it's a pretty, like heavy satin i would say um definitely not uh a polished look to it at all it is very much a horizontal uh satin um and let's show it comparison real quick to the original you can see the difference there immediately just in the direction of the finish um, looks like a, a significantly smaller nail neck too, which is interesting. I don't know if that's because of the hand finish um, or what, but a uh, really cool look to it. And another difference, I'm not gonna go into super detail on the difference, but there's some differences in the, the blade shape, the blade, yeah, I guess I would say shape, not grind, and the geometry of how the blade sits. So it sits, nice and deep in that frame there as you can hopefully see um oh still pinchable so happy to see that it's still pinchable um right off the bat this seems like a really really high quality feeling knife and you know i say that about all of the jack wolf knives to be honest but with the solid titanium handles and the jigging and just the different finishes here um this is a really cool one. The, the the screws here do stick out a little bit, and that's because of the rounding of the handle um, and the location of the screw. Now, the reason for that is because these 
so if they do have a cover have a screw under there but under the, the cover but it's covered by the co cover <laughs> hence the name so you only see the two uh, scale or cover screws that hold the, the cover in another difference you can see is the length of the bolster this is kind of a swayback Barlow. I think that you have to call it a swayback Barlow. Now it's a little bit of a faux bolster here on the full titanium version, but on the versions that do have a cover, uh, separate handle material as the cover, it's it's a it's a Barlow bolster. So um, really cool. I love Barlows. Uh, the Barlow Bearcat Club is a club that I started for people who uh, enjoy Barlow knives, and you really. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a Swayback Barlow. I'll have to ask Charlie Companion. Um, but a super cool knife. Genuinely, I am very, very thrilled to get this one. I am going to be using the slip on this one to keep it nice. And uh, I can't wait to put this to use. I'm considering doing a comparison, a, like test comparison. I don't really do testing, but I'd love to see the difference between the M390 and the S90B being that these are such similar knives but i don't know that i'll do that to be completely honest that's just something i've been considering if you're interested in seeing the full review whether or not i do the testing again make sure you're subscribed to the channel click the bell and select all these are going to be coming out soon i'll put all the details in the description so check that out for sure lots of great dealers will be getting these uh, traditional pocket knives um, all kinds of different dealers so check out the info in the description as always, a huge thank you to Ben for sending this along for me to check out and review. I really appreciate it. And I think this shows that he is really committed to improving these knives that already, you know, I think are incredible knives, but, you know, really making genuine and significant improvements across the runs. And this is the first true re-release. The Gunslinger was, um, you know, a modification of the sharpshooter uh so this is the first true re-release and shows that ben is really you know working on making sure that these are just getting better and better so uh if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave any comments you have below and last but not least as always don't forget to go out and do good